Look on thy country from Henry the Sixth, Part One, Act Three, Scene Three. This is a LibriVox recording. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Jeanette Selig. Look on thy country. Look on fertile France, and see the cities and the towns defaced by wasting ruin of the cruel foe, as looks the mother on her lowly babe, when death doth close his tender dying eyes. See, see the pining malady of France, behold the wounds, the most unnatural wounds, which thou thyself hast given her woeful breast. Oh, turn thy edged sword another way, strike those that hurt, and hurt not those that help. One drop of blood drawn from thy country's bosom should grieve thee more than streams of foreign gore. Return thee, therefore, with a flood of tears, and wash away thy country's stained spots. Besides, all French and France exclaims on thee, doubting thy birth and lawful progeny. Who joinst thou with, but with a lordly nation that will not trust thee, but for profit's sake? When Talbot hath set footing once in France, and fashioned thee that instrument of ill, who then but English Henry will be lord, and thou be thrust out like a fugitive? Call we to mind, and mark but this for proof, was not the Duke of Orleans thy foe? And was he not in England prisoner? But when they heard he was thine enemy, they set him free without his ransom paid, in spite of Burgundy and all his friends. See then, thou fightest against thy countrymen, and joinst with them will be thy slaughtermen. Come, come, return, Return, thou wandering lord. Charles and the rest will take thee in their arms. End of Look on Thy Country From Henry the Sixth, Part One, Act Three, Scene Three This recording is in the public domain.